Hello everybody, my name is Andrew Mailer. I'm town manager here in North Andover and uh, back with the journal and it's been a little bit of time since we had an opportunity to get together in this uh, format so I wanted to catch you up on a few things that are happening around town. It's, it's common that I talk uh, largely about capital projects or certain construction projects in town so that you're aware as you drive around what's going on. So we're involved currently with the replacement of the library roof, an important project, a uh, great building in town and something that's uh, been sort of going through the process of getting funding, nearly a half a million dollar project, and hoping to wrap that up by the end of the year. Uh, the renovation expansion of the DPW garage is nearly complete. Uh, we're sitting here in, in September, and I would expect by early November uh, that'll be a completed project. That's project five on the town's facility master plan. You may recall that's previously included a new fire station, town hall expansion, school administration building. So that has been a really successful uh, program and the next up on that program will be a brand new standalone kindergarten facility of 16 classrooms that's going to help us be able to drop average classroom size on the elementary level from 23.5 to 19.6 that project is due to go to bid later uh, late fall early winter here in 2017 if all goes well we'll be constructing the building in the spring with hope that we'll open the facility in August of 2018 Really excited about that. Cross our fingers a little bit about the bidding climate. Things are getting uh, hotter out there in terms of construction, but we're, we're thinking that things will work out well and we're moving forward with that. We're still uh, starting the process of contemplating the best way to proceed in terms of a senior center expansion, possible new senior center building. Our senior population is growing. It's important to our community to remain vital in the long term that we have a, uh, an excellent first rate senior center and we're going through the process to make sure that's going to be the case over the next uh, couple of years. A couple of other important projects was filed with the MSBA for the possible expansion renovation of the middle school. MSBA is the state authority responsible for giving us approval to proceed and also uh, giving us uh, some funding to offset the cost associated with that. Too early to tell when that project could happen. Quite frankly, it could be a range of anywhere from three years to seven or eight years, but something that's vital as we proceed from an educational perspective, supported by all the elected officials and obviously the folks within the school department. Uh, we're moving forward with what will be $600,000 worth of design to renovate the current Hay Stadium and the middle school ball fields between Atkinson and the middle school. That'll be a 21-acre revitalization of that space for multi-generational use, uh, open space use. So things like a gazebo for concerts to a perimeter walking track for all ages uh, to having ball fields for our kids, playgrounds and other features. A really exciting project, uh, I think transformative quite frankly to that uh, school hub in the middle of 125 and Main Street and something that uh, the whole community will be proud of. That's being funded by the CPC and we certainly appreciate uh, their participation in that regard. So those are the big exciting projects happening around town. On a different note, I wanted to let you know that effective September 1st, we've hired a new trash contractor and now our trash contractor and our recycling contractor are different vendors. Um, there's many reasons, quite frankly, to proceed in that regard. The new trash contractor's name is JRM. They've been around and are in 20 municipalities and have been in those municipalities for many years. They have a fantastic reputation for customer service. We're looking forward to partnering with them. So you will see two different trucks on your trash and recycling days. You'll see the trash trucks being one company and the recycling has remained as Northside Carding. Um, again, important change moving forward. Remind everybody that certainly with the new trash hauler, they, they show up right at 7 a.m. Um, so uh, try not to time your putting out your trash. Get it out there just before 7 o'clock, and I'm sure that they will pick up the trash. But uh, try not to wait during the day to try to predict when they'll arrive, because otherwise we'll end up with um, cases where the trash will remain behind. I'd also encourage you to continue to use the pink bags for our curbside uh, free textile recycling project, uh, something that's unique in the region, something that's working very well for us. Uh, we've received uh, over 20,000 tons in textile recycling, which is taking uh, waste out of the waste stream, which is good for the town in the long term. If you have questions about uh, how to get the bags necessary to put those textiles on the curb, please refer to the town's website and you'll uh, look for simple recycling and textile recycling, uh, textile recycling through the company Simple Recycling, and they'll give you some instructions on how to get those pink bags so you can put your textiles at curbside. Again, another free program and an important program. Thanks again for allowing me to catch you up to speed here on the journal, and I look forward to speaking to you in about a month or so. Thank you.